keeping an eye on that power transfer at T minus 50 seconds. The S4B propellants now all pressurized. S4B propellants, that's the third stage of the Saturn V pressurized. One minute, 15 seconds and counting. The spacecraft equipment now is on its own internal cooling. It's been uh, sharing its cooling from it, getting its cooling from an external power source up to this time. We're now approaching the T-minus one minute mark. T-minus one minute. T-minus you know, one we minute. Got even, uh, and counting. More buffeting today now, because in the of the final low cloud cover. Of our countdown. We get quite a shaking here. At the thirty-second mark. They uh, keep the sound uh, down. You're right. Yeah, interesting one. Let's see if the place holds together. As we pass the T-minus fifty-second mark, the power transfer takes place. First stage, second stage, third stage, and the instrument unit going to internal power. T-minus thirty-seven seconds, and our count continues to go well. We'll be looking for an ignition of those five first stage engines at the T-minus 8.9 second mark. We've passed T-minus 30, T-minus 25 seconds and counting, and Apollo 13 is go. T-minus 20 seconds, T-minus 20 seconds and counting. 17, guidance release, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Ignition sequence has started, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, zero. We have commit and we have liftoff at 2.13. The Saturn V building up to 7.6 million pounds of thrust and it has cleared the tower. Here we go. <laughs> Mission control is now in It's a beauty. It's another beauty. No, I think it's a jet flight. Looks good. Show one half mile in altitude at this time. Thirteen Houston, go at thirty seconds. Roll complete. Right there. Be advised, one point Mark, one point two miles. Altitude one point two miles. I'm shaking here, but got a beautiful flight. Cloud cover isn't interfering yet. No, it's just almost just getting into it. There it is. because every bit of that outer surface is sensitive to this tremendous pressure that builds up due to the velocity in the atmosphere. Yeah. Really, uh, that's probably one of the more traumatic per periods for training, at least. 13 Houston, stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, you're one, Charlie. Mark, one, Charlie. Oh, and good communications. Your go for staging. Go for staging, Roger. We're EVS manual. Everything. Now 17 miles coming up on staging. Everything right on uh, time. Staging coming up. That means the cutoff of the uh, first stage engines. Inboard. Jim Lovell reports the inboard engine has shut down as scheduled. It's amazing, that big booster is already history. Can we <laughs> confirm inboard out 13? You're looking good. Roger. It's due to uh, a big booster splashes down in the. Coming up uh, on 30 miles altitude. Splashes down in the Atlantic. Uh, in about uh, 20 minutes. You can oh. see uh, there, uh, that's one of the uh, uh, static no cameras. Ignition. They're Roger. washing down yeah. thousands of gallons of water pour forth there to uh, to cool and to put out any little fires that may have started. 13 Houston, trajectory's good, thrust is good. Set by those pollution-minded people. Uh, that was hydrogen and oxygen, so we weren't polluting today. Tower <laughs> jet. That's the interstate. We confirm skirt set. Roger. Tower jet. Mode two, Jim. Looking good. Mode two. Uh, you see the launch tower off. 
Now they can look out, too. That blue protective cover goes with that tower. It's like an ice cream Launch cone vehicle. over the top. And, and as a result, now the windows are all uh, uh, open to view. This is the first Admiral view they've had. The yes, it is. There's one small window that they can look at, of course, to communicate with people outside the, the spacecraft when they're on the launch pad. Okay, communicate with visual signals, I mean. And now, all of a sudden, there are two guys that are looking at the same beautiful view you've been hearing us all talk about. And Coming that really is a beautiful minutes. view. We're now at an altitude of 63 miles. That boost cover is on there because uh, uh, the heat builds up uh, on launch to 400, 450 it's degrees. And also scores the windows. And yes, uh, that's exactly right. Keep them clean. You know, another, another interesting thing that maybe not many people realize is that the men are actually heads down at this point. They go into Earth orbit with their heads down. So it's sort of like flying through the top of a loop as you go into orbit, which is a rather unusual attitude. Is it disturbing? No, no, and you become acclimated to it, but uh, it was quite a surprise to me after having gone into orbit in Mercury, heads up. And then all of a sudden, on Gemini, I went into orbit heads on my side. <laughs> we finally rotated the full 180 to head down this way.